welcome to another Science at Home. For this activity, you're going to need uh, some type of cup that's got a nice flat edge to it. You're going to want a plate. You're going to need some water. I added food coloring to mine. That's just to make it a little easier to see what's going on, but you don't have to. Uh, you also need some type of candle, one that's going to be able to fit in um, a glass that you have. So what you're going to end up doing is putting your glass over top of your candle. And then lastly, you're going to need some matches. So you're going to need some adult supervision with this part to actually light our candle. But what we're going to do is a really cool science experiment that deals with pressure and changes in pressure. So the way this works is I already put my water in my plate and I put my candle then on top of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to light my candle. And then once my candle is burning, extinguish my match, I'm going to put my cup over the top of it. And when I put it down there, I'm looking for a nice tight seal. So I'm going to make sure I'm not near the edges where a lot of air can get in there. And you're going to notice a few different things happen. For one, the candle is going to slowly start to go out. And you're going to see that now it's actually starting to flow. And you can see that the water is slowly rising up into my glass. And our candle is now out. And I'm still, if you look on the edge, they're still sucking up some of the water that was on my plate. Now if I pick up my glass, of course, the water is all going to spill back out. So what happens here is as that candle is burning, it's actually taking the oxygen that's trapped in there, and it's burning that oxygen off. And what you're going to see is some of the little bubbles near the edge there. The carbon dioxide that it creates is going to start to leak out of the edge. But because we're losing overall um, pressure in there, air pressure in there, something has to replace. And so the water ends up getting sucked up. We create a vacuum in this glass, which then pulls the water into it. And so a um, really fun little experience to see what changes in pressure can do. And you can vary your amounts of water there and see if you can suck up even more if you've got a bigger candle in there and a bigger glass with, of course, then more air in it. So hopefully you enjoyed that, and we'll see you for our next experiment.